Hey pizza lovers, are you ready for an amazing opportunity that combines your love for pizza with the chance to win big? Click the link in the video description now and take our survey for your chance to enjoy free pizza for a year and a complimentary Visa gift card. How complicated sex scenes are these days? They are, rightly, all about consent and comfort for the actors but must still fulfill the vision of the director, hence the presence of the intimacy coordinator on set. It makes you wonder how movie stars got through them back in the day. Step forward Dame Joan Collins, no less, to clear that one up. It's hard to work that up, you know. I mean I did it in the stud, but I had to get so drunk. We all did, she says. There was an orgy scene in Oliver Tobias, Sue Lloyd, Mark Burns and I got really plastered beforehand. It was the same with an Italian film which, thank God, no one has ever seen, where I had, a, lovemaking scene and the director gave me and the actor a bottle of rum and said, enjoy, and come on set in an hour, dot. Who knew that Dame Joan, unfazed by anything, you'd imagine, found sex scenes difficult? She says she would hate to have to do them today, when everything is so explicit. Maybe some actors can express extreme passion. It's a hard thing to do unless you feel it. I don't think I could do that today, not at my age anyway. Does anyone still ask? No. There comes a time, yes, civilization might fall if she did and it almost seemed to when she last stripped off, for Playboy, at the tender age of 49. It was deemed most unseemly. And now look where we are, she agrees, reflecting on the longevity of today's sex symbol actresses. You have Jennifer Lopez at, what, 55? 54, actually, but who's counting? And Demi Moore is prancing around at 60, 61, Joan, looking fabulous. There is no barrier now or at least not the same sort of barrier. My contract at 20th Century Fox came to an end when I was 27, because that was considered the point at which a woman was past her prime. That's when I settled down and had babies and I thought, right, had it now, and retired. Only for a smidgen, though. Being Joan Collins, she was back. The astonishing thing about her, although there are many, is that she still hasn't retired. Nor is she drawing her state pension, I discover, but this is not a choice. I get not a penny from the government. They refused to give me a pension when I came back from America 30 odd years ago. I'd been paying into national insurance so I thought, maybe I can have a pension, because I wasn't working. I felt I had a right to it. But they couldn't find me. They had lost all the paperwork, or whatever it was. They couldn't find Joan Collins, actress. Therefore I didn't exist in terms of getting a pension. So I don't get a pension, blimey. Surely not being able to find Joan Collins, actress, is a scandal in itself? And yes, she does mind, even while acknowledging that many will wonder how with homes in LA, France, and London's Belgravia, she can have the gall to complain about missing out on that £221 a week. It's the principle, she says. Also, every penny counts. I know incredibly rich people who are getting it, and they say it helps because things are expensive. Besides, she's not as silly rich as people think. It would be lovely if I was like those people from Dallas, or friends who get residuals, payments for reruns, I don't. None of us from Dynasty do. People do say, she must be so rich, but Dynasty finished 35 years ago. And yes I am still working, not hugely, but enough. She is also still working because it's what Joan Collins, actress, does. Even if they backdated her pension payments for 30 years, wouldn't she still work? I don't want to retire, she nods. I see what happens to people when they retire. They crumble because they don't have any impetus. They don't have anything that makes them want to get up in the morning, and you know, lying in bed and watching daytime TV is very addictive. I do it sometimes and I could do it all day. But no. I want to get up and do things and experience, life. Oh, to go through life being Dame Joan Collins, uncompromising, unfiltered, unapologetically Joan. When we kick off our interview at 10 a.m. in her very grand Belgravia home, think Buckingham Palace but without the threadbare carpets, there is a bottle of martini cocktail on the coffee table. Alas, we don't get stuck in, are you kidding? Who does that at this time, other than an alcoholic? 
but you really do get the sense that this is a woman who still imbibes, in all senses, even if she no longer needs to for Dutch courage, she might be the last, wah. Wow.